Where does the Taliban's money come from? The United Nations says most of it comes from criminal activities, the drug trade, extortion, human trafficking, prostitution, as well as the mining of resources and tax revenue from areas the terror group controls. The UN Security Council estimates that in 2020, the Taliban earned 460 million U.S. dollars in the opium trade alone. That would account for a major part of their total revenue, estimated between 300 million and 1.6 billion dollars. But other revenue streams have become more important in recent years. The Taliban take a 10% cut from legally grown farm produce, as well as profits from businesses and stores. They also charge tolls at road checkpoints, often resorting to violence. Another key source of revenue is donations from countries such as Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, as well as private donors and foundations. Afghanistan is estimated to hold natural resources worth more than a trillion dollars, including lithium, copper, aluminum, gold, and rare earths. China, Russia, and Turkey are interested in mining rights, but want to see a more stable political environment. Economists doubt the Taliban can build up a solid economy. Afghanistan has long depended on financial assistance. In 2020, foreign aid accounted for 43 percent of the country's GDP. Many countries, including Germany, said they will halt further payments. Complicating the situation is the Taliban's lack of access to Afghanistan's reserves of around $9.5 billion in the U.S. The money is currently frozen.